Hey guys, welcome back with Mark Jackson, and uh, well, I'm riding shotgun with you tonight because I had a voice audio issue. It didn't record. Yeah, you know, wasted a whole shit ton of time. But hey, first things first, I got a shout out. Sushi Cat Gamer. I'm going to link her in the description below. Right now you're looking at a picture of her site. Really cool stuff. She got my hidden shout out challenge in episode 18, even though, uh, well, well, Communications got a little bit garbled. Thanks, YouTube. Maybe if I scream real loud, they'll start coming through. Yeah, I've had problems with comments not being posted, <laughs> comments vanishing, this, that. You know, the same um, pretty much everybody else has had. Ew, yuck. Oh, your leg, though. Yeah, and sorry if my voice is just a little out of time. Again, I'm dubbing this over. Um, but it is kind of cool to just kick back, relax, and, and watch instead of talking and playing, though I really enjoy doing that. But yeah, congratulations, Cat. Uh, thanks for... Uh, you, you got it right. The thing was, I, I it was a... Um, I don't know how to explain it. It was phraseology, I suppose. I said, bring your pretty face to my bat in episode 18 and referenced a movie and asked her what movie that came from. She was right, Lord of the Rings. Hey, Kareem, I'm by the wheel station. Talk you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the Bring your up. pretty face to my axe. Gimli. So Cat was right. Anyway, congratulations. And uh, I, I would have scrapped this episode, but so many important things happen. Anyway, we're rise this bitch, and we got to extort these guys for money. And uh, this is kind of silly right here, this conversation coming up. Also, uh, stay tuned after the video for another challenge. Um, got another movie challenge. Name that movie. Um, the first person to get it right gets a, gets a shout out. I am starting to wonder what I'm doing right here. <laughs> Make up your mind, Mark Jackson. I'm probably talking about some nonsense. I don't know. You Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rice sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're <laughs> just some random asshole. Fuck off. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag mm. you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay. Jesus. You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa, su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? So what I got out of that was that Crane is starting to come around. Kareem, it's me. Uh, so I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next, you collect the tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their yeah, you know, good luck getting there without... What do you, what do you guys want to bet another airdrop pops off? You know, before we even get... To, yeah, that's a long way, too. I'm looking at it. But yeah, two things I got out of that conversation. This crane is kind of coming away from being a libtard over to the side of the... Of the uh, over to the right. He's coming over there. He, he's getting a little kind of... He's hardening it up. He's getting more hardcore. Oh, here's Brecken. It's been a while. How you doing, mate? I'm running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power, scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen, mate, time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in. Much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. Oh, yeah. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just wanted to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. All right, all right. Destroyed and defiled. That was kind of fun. Yeah, sorry if I'm not talking that much this time around, guys. Uh, oh, great. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, one of the pukers was bombing us, and this really caused us serious problems. These guys are so accurate, and the area of effect is huge. Yeah, I really wanted to scrap this episode, because I didn't know what I was going to do when it came to... And I forgot about that. I tried to get him, you know, and yeah, it all it all went ham. It all went ham. 
Like I said, what, like I was saying earlier, I was gonna scrap this episode, but so many important things happened. Ah! Oh, and this bitch grabs us, and we're stuck. Yeah, it holds us, and we get hit by the puker again. I use a med kit. It doesn't count. So I use another one. Yeah, yeah, it just all went wrong right there. All went wrong. And then the puker isn't showing up on my radar. And he's not shooting at us, but I'm still fairly sure that he's over there. Yeah, a lot of... We get a lot of important things in this episode. A lot of important things. I, just, I, I couldn't scrap the footage. And I, you'll see why as we go, because... Uh, you get some interesting perks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it for you. And jump on there. That camouflage oh, trick really works, Rob. Thanks again, bro. And then, yeah, the puker's still over here. I try to camouflage myself. So I can go up and kill him easily. And he, and he sees right through the camouflage. Which kind of sucked. Kind of confirms that the camouflage doesn't work for all of them. And those pukers are just going to get more and more numerous. And guess what? Here is the, uh... Yeah, here is the airdrop we knew was going to happen when we were on our way to our destination. See the drogue shoot two of them. As usual, but... Yeah, it was very smart. Drop it down like that. And I hope my voice audio is not too out of sync with this. Obviously, we got to hustle over here to get this drop. And I think it's fairly close by... Yep, there, there's the red smoke, so we're on the way. I'm trying to keep my eyes out. My eyes peeled for, for people, too. It is fun just to watch. It, it is. I, I prefer doing the live voice commentary a great deal as opposed to, you know, dub over. But it is fun to watch. Just to kick back and enjoy. I can just lean back and drink my beer, which I'm going to do right now. One minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the one where we could go and... I know I'm a little bit late on the commentary, but... Comparing pistols, too. But, yeah, we could go and get that uh, that second drop. I think... I think we made it in time to get half. And we decided that uh, we were going to shoot those guys and that the uh, American pistol was better than the, than the German one by a small margin. <laughs> Did I say beer? I meant rum. Oh, you know, what's funny about this is that uh, I ran the wrong direction. I should have got this drop first because we were right here, standing right here. Should have went and got this drop and then went and got the other drop second and we would have had an opportunity to get them both i think he grabbed my hands get off me. yeah run right at the man with a gun drawn on you this game really likes headshots um i learned that real quick it really likes it when you shoot him in the head very very effective and yeah our inventory was full we did get half the drop and the and the and the trick is now instead of going right on with mission what I want to do is, uh, yeah, well, all right, you can die. What I want to do is get on over to the tower because I've got a lot of these drops, airdrops over the last few episodes that I haven't turned in. And that's going to translate over to survivor skill points, and that is going to be big. Just wait and see. So what we're doing right now is taking a look and heading, yeah, we're going to go over to the tower and, and talk to the quartermaster. That is the plan. And it's a good plan. And then we're going to head back up to the objective at the tunnel entrance. And, yeah, break those down because there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff laying on the ground that we can sell that we want to pick up. And our inventory is full. So free up some space. Go pick this stuff up. And I think I missed one weapon. There's three guys. That's one weapon. There's two. And there's a third guy, but I never found the weapon. Which I thought was kind of strange, but hey. All right, let's get to the tower. Let's 
bottle her dead boobs, I guess. Um, I didn't do that on purpose. Not into necrophilia. And then we gotta rob AT&T. We always have to do that. So yeah, after this quartermaster drop, we get a very nice treat. One of the things I wasn't sure about there was a fence trap, is that I didn't know if I had that perk. It kind of confused me a little bit when I went through it the first time, isn't it? Alright, yeah, that's a lot of points, and what actually happens here is it ranks me up twice, and that was a nice surprise. And we take all this stuff, too, just to sell. All right, now it's onto the shop. Men are always first to get to the drops. Some good stuff. Um, yeah, there was some. There was a decision-making process here to get rid of some of these things, and then we got plenty of jewels. But if you notice our money, yeah, we we blew some cash big time in the previous episodes. But we're getting back up there. We're getting back up there. Of course we keep those and I think no I wanted to go yeah you know and yeah get into what he might have had yeah pistol ammo I know we need I hope I remember to buy it I did good full on the other stuff Excuse me. A special deal for you. Yeah, so the next step is to get up to... A, oh, yeah, the, the skills. And look at this. This is the big thing right here. I had fun with this. I did not think we were going to get the grappler this early on in the game. But guess what? We did. And this, this right here is one of the most awesome perks slash pieces of equipment in the game. And right, oh uh, yeah, right here, I'm just patting myself on the back in surprise that we managed to get it because I can't wait to show you. And then the shield that was on my my game plan, but then camouflage attack had to be. I think they were two good choices, and yeah, I'm gonna stand behind those even now. I can't wait to show you this grappler and get a chance to see. That's one of the significant things. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at it. Yeah, yeah. I met Jafar, the owner of the garage, and basically... Uh, so now we run the wrong direction to get to our... Uh, yeah, to, uh, to get to our room. Yeah. Could have just went right. Instead, we do this. But the important thing is, up here we need to grab the grappler. And I want to change my outfit, man. I'll tell you what, the outfit I picked, top-notch stuff, guys. I want to drop some stuff off, too, for sure. You know, I, I don't think... Yeah, you know, I didn't... I looked at the flares, and that just didn't make any sense. And then I looked at the throwing stars and the throwing knives and decided I didn't need, like, both. You know I'm keeping two cork machetes on hand. And where's that... There it is. Grappling hook. You're going to like this. If you have not seen this game before, you're really going to like this. This game is just the gift that keeps on giving. For now, I put the drugs away, um, the speed booster there, and I decide I don't need military throwing knives and throwing stars. And I put the fence here in the night away, which are, yeah, the weapon upgrades. I, I don't know why I did that, other than just to keep my inventory a little bit clearer. We run through some. This one right here really had me, I was wondering. That one right there, Jason Statham, the Homeless Edition. That's kind of what I was thinking, but... Hey! And there's a lot more DLC outfits than I thought. You know, I mean, there's... There, well, there's the um, anti-fascist one. I I'm, I said that late, but... Yeah, I mean, look at all these. But in the end, it can only be one. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's the one, voice. I, I, no doubt. That's me. That's us. 
All right, I'm pleased about that. Now, it's time to get back on mission. At least I think so. But I wanted to debut. I really, really wanted to debut the grappling hook. Or the grappler. Grappling hook, whatever. And I th think you guys are really going to like Jafar, it. The owner of the garage. We and know, Crane. Threatened his and, life if you know, again, Crane is coming on over to our side. He started out a sniveling libtard and... Now he's break both your legs and drag you through the street. Sounds like what Trump wants to do with Mexico. I, whatever. Um, all right. Now I'm searching around my uh, down on the bottom left. You can see I'm toggling through my secondaries, looking for the grappler, and I forgot to equip it. Uh, we'll get that taken care of. Yeah, right now. But man, this thing is cool. I'm not even going to speak. Actually, I'm going to shut up and let you watch this. You're going to love it. And we get to do this forever now? We're spoiled. Isn't that cool? It's got a recharge rate. I believe there are perks to make it even more effective. But that is going to help us out something fierce. I think we can hit people with it, too. I think I try that here. Yeah, it doesn't do too much, but... I think that woman's lungs were sideways. Now that I'm looking again. And that dude, I'd call it a face plant, but he doesn't have a face anymore. And here's another thing. Um, the other perk that we picked, that now we can attack the zombies in camouflage. And they'll just let us do it. They won't automatically attack us. Which is going to be a big help. A big help. Damn, broke my weapon. Damn. Mark, run. Get the weapon fixed. Anytime now. Yeah, okay. Drop kick, baby. Nah. Okay, I was lazy. Yeah, I'm getting lazy with these guys. Instead of drop kicking them and saving my weapon, I'm just chopping them down, save some time. But yeah, the uh, yeah the uh, the perk where you can attack while you're camouflage is awesome. And right about this point, I'm talking about not using camouflage too much. I'm gonna use it when I absolutely have to, or from time to time. But when I absolutely have to. But I want to keep the usage down so I can keep the video clear for you guys. If I was playing by my, you know, all by myself, I'd be using the hell out of camouflage. Um, but, you know, I, I want the video to be as clear as I can. Again, thanks, Rob, man, for the, uh, for the trick. Which I failed to explain in the last video. Okay, so I can, I can do it right after, uh, right after these messages. I, there's some guy in trouble. Uh, does it look like we did? Want those survivor points, son? I've been quite a while. My apartment for quite a while. Really happy you showed up. And I am too for your eighty-eight dollars. Whoa! That, what? Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> At least I kicked his face into the spikes. Dude, you're gonna die. You 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 already died wearing them shorts. And now you're gonna die again wearing them shorts. There's a problem. Oh my god. I always pay attention to where what you, what you're wearing, boys and girls, because one day you could die. You're wearing some like lime green underwear or something. Uh, consider the fact. Oh man, that went right. That went right up his ass. I didn't notice that before. That was... Whoops. No, oh, it's one of the... Oh, I heard him say no. I heard him speak. Drops. It sounds like he likes it. Hear him? It sounds like a zombie orgasm while I'm kicking him in the face. Oh, the things you miss while you're actually playing. <laughs>
Now we're camouflaged, so hopefully this lock goes quick, too. I know there's one lock that I, I think I'm going to have to cut the video for. And then I hear the big unit dragging his, dragging his rebar our way. Let's get the heck out. I had a thought to lure him in, but at this point, I was feeling like the video was going to be going on for a while, and then I still had things to do. Another bitch that has her intestines where her lungs should be. Okay. We're still camouflaged. Yeah, see, they, they don't care. They're just curious, what, what's the noise? Yeah, that camouflage attack is something else. And I'll tell you what, the grappler, I wish I would have thought to have, I wish I would have had thought to used it right here. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, I'm Batman. Alright, well that second tunnel over there is where we need to go. And right here... Yeah, this... Apparently... Yeah, this was a dead end. Yeah. But this police van right here... I wasted all that. I should have just jumped on it. Combat. Oh, I, I didn't notice at this point that combat was so close. All right, this lock turned out to be the biggest pain in the ass of all, and there's a reason. Yes, sir. Did you see that? Well, you're going to get a better look at it in a minute. I was extremely pleased. Again, fortune favors us very early on in the game. Yes, sir. Police rifle. There are still better weapons out there. But let's demo it. One great thing, again, I'm not I'm not doing the headshot thing very well. I'm trying to learn it, and the sound of the rifle, I'm not a big fan. Um, ambush, ambush shot right there. Power up. I was really pleased to see that you got power levels up, even using firearms. One thing that's... Uh, was that another drop? One thing that's cool is, even though you make noise, there's another drop, and I think we get right after it, too. Um... One thing that's cool is that you make noise with the rifles, and that sends a viral. So those mad zombies that have a tendency to speak every once in a while. Um, they come running, but now that we have the grappler, we can bust out some stuff. That's close by. We can, yeah, we can bust out the rifle. That's too far. Yeah. We can bust out the rifle, blast some folks, and then use the grappler to run away. You know, just Batman away. Okay, so we're right on top of this, and then we got to turn around and go back to the source. But we got the full shebang, and I know we don't go after the second one. That was just too far away. Best we could do is half. Um, I'm gonna st I'm gonna consider starting to run and grab those, even though it's half, and just cutting the video. You know, so you guys don't have to watch the whole me running across the map just for a drop. You guys let me know what you think about that, though. I'm not sure. Corks and AKs. And, well, that doesn't look like it. Actually, it's more like a... I don't know why I said AK. It looks more like a G3. It's kind of a combo between a G3 and an M16. Oh, but that grappler, though. Yeah, and this asshole heard a shoot and ended up coming up here. Wasn't a very good idea on his part, I thought, you know, I thought that his thought process was a little, um, yeah, probably not the best in the world. Hey, fellas! They don't, they don't even care that I'm here. They don't, they don't even care. Ah, oh, the grappler. Yeah, I got a little lost. I'm looking at the map right now, and the and the red I or orange icon is saying go down. And it said go up earlier. Go down, go up. And then I kind of decided at this point that maybe it was that right hand tunnel. I hadn't looked there yet, but wanted to make sure, and kind of stumbled onto it. Yeah, that's me looking up there, going, "Nah, that's bullshit." We gotta go this way. 
in which we're in for another surprise. Now, you gotta be careful in here, in, in dark places like this, because, I mean, the, the, the zombies get crazy. I mean, there's some there's shit in here you wouldn't believe. Electronics. Got a good find. And I remember thinking that I was gonna pass this room up. I was weighing on whether or not just even go in there. Glad I did. The door that opens? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge bloated infected just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out and they are potent. The radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. Alright. You'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named they are Carson. potent. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm going to bring up the movie challenge right now. Hey, I've been Mark Jackson. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, again, check out the challenge. You should be looking at it right now. First person to get it right gets a shout-out. I'll talk to you guys later. Zip.